It's my first time ever at the Carrizo Plains National Monument. We just arrived. We went to the Carrizo Plains to see the Super Bloom in 2019. But I also knew there was a geologic feature at Wallace Creek involving the San Andreas Fault that I wanted to see. This map shows the Carrizo Plains right along the San Andreas Fault line. We're about to go up Wallace Creek Trail. We just parked over there and we're going to go up the Wallace Creek Trail. Wallace Creek is, uh, is the San Andreas Fault caused it to change course. So the interesting thing about it is that the creek comes down, straight, goes straight across where the fault is, and then go, continues down again. So that whole segment was offset by an earthquake right on the San Andreas Fault. So we're going to go look at that right now. What I should have said is many earthquakes over thousands of years. This sign along the trail, marked by the X, explains what happened. One major earthquake in 1857, known as the Fort Tejon earthquake, caused this part of the San Andreas Fault to shift 30 feet. So we're in uh, Carrizo Plains National Monument, and we come to a feature called Wallace Creek. So you can see up here, there's a creek. It's dry right now, but there's a creek bed coming down this way. And then it, re it used to cross the San Andreas Fault, but then the San Andreas Fault caused it to zigzag that way and according to the sign that's 420 feet and then the creek continues downstream again so at one time this Wallace Creek was straight coming down the mountain straight over the San Andreas Fault which has now caused it to move 420 feet from its downstream section so you can see over there downstream section that continues all the way down to Soda Lake and then there's the Wallace Creek upper section that came down to meet the San Andreas Fault and now it's got a big zigzag in it. So it's a fascinating feature to see. So we're at the Wallace Creek which shows the turn of San Andreas Fault caused it to jam this way. The creek, the lower end there and the upper end over there of the creek, Wallace Creek has been offset by 420 feet by the San Andreas Fault line, moving it that way. So it's pretty amazing to see it in person at the Carrizo Plain National Monument. When we first arrived at the Carrizo Plains, I asked a ranger about drone flights, and the good news for me was that he said drone flight was available anywhere in the park as long as I wasn't flying over a road or other people. So I took my drone to Wallace Creek In this drone footage, you'll see the whole middle section of the Wallace Creek where the San Andreas Fault has offset it by 420 feet over thousands of years. At the upper right, you can see the parking area and the trail leading up to the creek. Here you see the trail sign that we showed earlier in this video, and then the creek turns uphill into the upper section. One more time flying the drone over the creek and this time with a more downward looking perspective.
Thanks for watching. Now be sure to like and subscribe.